Hollywood's injury, and I realize you have other guys out here, but what do you miss with Nick? Yeah, no, um, obviously unfortunate. Um, luck, luck, pretty, I guess we're lucky that it wasn't as bad as it could have been. Um, I know he's in good spirits. He's he's doing well. So just kind of getting him back, back going again, back moving around. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, uh, obviously we lose a little bit of that veteran type receiver in that room. I mean, we have other guys that can kind of replace a little bit, to, but to have that much talent, um, have a good understanding of what I want. But he's in the room. I think that's what's awesome. He's he's talking to those guys and everything like that. And so um, hopefully we're getting him back sooner rather than later. Um, but uh, we just got to keep pushing those young guys to uh, to keep uh, getting better and better every day. Patrick, uh, Matt Nagy said Justin Watson would have to step up a little bit more. How, how confident are you in in your third year working together? Yeah, very confident. I mean, a guy that knows everything, can play all three positions, um, can block, can catch, can, can stretch the field deep, and can work a little bit underneath as well. And so um, that's the type of guys you, that are going to have to step up in, in his when he's while he's out. I mean, like I said, we're lucky that it doesn't seem like it's going to be too long. Um, and so uh, J-, J. Watt will come in and, and fill that role, and right when Hollywood gets back, we'll, we'll throw him right back in there, and he'll be ready to go. Who were some standouts, or what position group were some standouts for you? Yeah, I mean, I thought it was a, I thought it was a competitive camp. I think that was the best thing. I mean, um, more than just standouts, I thought every day you just didn't know if the offense or the defense was going to win. That's when it's a great camp is that you want to compete. Um, there's days where defense gets after us. There's days that I feel like we, we had the, the advantage. And so I think that was the most positive thing I took from camp. And obviously players made had days and stuff like that. Um, but I think just the competitive nature of camp was the best part about it. I think we forgot some passion the last time we were up here. But um, what led to the behind-the-back pass, the Checo and the, mm-hmm. the red zone period? And uh, how much of that is your idea? How much of that is just having fun? And- there yeah, the, the, there definitely is a possibility of it. I mean, it's a uh, if you do it, it's got to work. Um, it was similar play to the one in the Super Bowl, and I wasn't going to do it in that situation. Um, but uh, we had a it was a good day for the, for the offense, especially in that last period. And I had kind of got it going. You get a few completions, and then once you're kind of having a good day, you have the freedom to kind of try stuff like that. Um, obviously, if stuff's not working out well, you don't you don't have that opportunity. So uh, it was a uh, it was cool that I completed it. Um, it's just a, you, you want to get in like a live type atmosphere, and that's as live as you're going to get in practice. What did Coach think of it when he rewatched it? The first thing he said is, I've been telling you to do that for a while. I mean, it's all he said. He's like, that, that's, he's like, that's one of the plays I've been telling you you can do it. So uh, he's, a, he's all, I'm telling you, he's all for it. It's me, the one that's hesitant to do it in the game. You have talked yeah. about you want to be better than last year. You want to have a, and play your best bet football unlike last year. Do you think you've taken steps at this camp to do that? Yeah, I mean, I, I've been trying to push the push the envelope, trying to push the ball downfield, um, trying to make sure that we, we, we stay in that attacking mindset, but at the same time, find that right balance. Um, there's been days where we've connected on a lot of deep passes, and there's days we've missed them. Um, that's what this is for, is for us to try to see what we can get away with, try to see what we can do, um, and see what everybody's great at. Um, and I thought we've, we had a great camp, like I said, um, but it's not done now. we got to continue into this preseason game against the Lions. It'll be a great test. They play hard, great football team, and then – Going, into the, going back to KC, you can't let off the gas. You have to keep pushing because we have a – I mean, the beginning of our schedule is tough and we'd be ready for it. How much would you like to be able to get uh, Xavier involved? Um, yeah, I know. We, I mean, we obviously want to get him some catches. I mean, we, we called a play for him that first play in this last preseason game. Obviously, they brought a pressure. I got it out to, to Hollywood. Um, but, I mean, obviously, we're gonna, we want to try to see what, what he can do in the live – as live as you can get before the season. And so um, – you have to take what's there, but you want to give him chances to go out there and make plays and, and just in that live action at Arrowhead. Um, but, I mean, you know defenses are accounting for that as well, too. So it's um, it's going to find that balance. You want to get those young guys, those plays, him, Wiley, some of these young guys that haven't got a ton of red, Justin Ross, stuff like that, Sky Moore. Um, but uh, at the same time, you have to play within yourself and within the offense. Brett Beach had mentioned how you do extra work with the receivers, even post-camp and after meetings. What have you observed in the extra sessions with those receivers that you're seeing them improve and what they're learning? Yeah, I think just watching the extra film with them, you, you see those those positive um, things happen that like, almost the next day. I mean, you're just talking through stuff. I mean, in this offense, it's, I mean, y'all know it's so much of freedom within structure. And I think he, he, them hearing me talk, hearing me, Travis talk, and then them having their input as well, I feel like it helps them have their stamp on the offense. And I think that's important. And I, obviously it started a couple years ago with Trav, and then, you, then it kind of went to Juju in uh, 11 last year. Um, and then now these young guys are kind of taking on themselves. So Sky and Rasheed and Nico and Justin Ross, they're coming in those meetings, they're listening, they're talking, we're talking through it, and then they're making those progressions the next day. Coach Reed talked about the camaraderie built in the dorms. Maybe you can share a moment where you built a brotherhood with this new team behind the scenes. Yeah, I mean, uh, for me, it's 
even more than the dorms, we always go to Lazarone a couple times, and I, we take the guys, we get some pizzas. I usually do it after kind of like the second pad a day before the 10 10 10. So we were there yesterday. Um, and so don't, don't remember that for next year and try to storm our party. Um, but uh, they, uh, we, um, we go there and you just eat and you just joke around. I think Ian Book had like nine pieces of pizza yesterday, man. I had to calm him down because the, fir- the first time we went, the O line, he only got one piece because the O line ate all his pizza. So uh, he went in this last day. So, no, it, but the st- stuff like that is where you build those, those, that bond. Um, and then you have those jokes and stuff for the rest of the year. And that's what builds the, the great culture that we have. Uh, Patrick, just Andy, is, uh, his whole career is about evolution and evolving just in and, in and outside the football field. Mm-hmm. Just going to year eight, how has his evolution just affected you on the yeah, I think Coach. I think what the best thing about Coach Reed is he pushes you to be great, and he pushes himself to be great. I mean, he always is trying to, um, is trying to just be more creative. Have a, what else can he do to help the offense? I help players. I help like with different motions or different plays, and he challenges the coaches to do that as well. And so when when you see that they're working that hard and they're challenging themselves, whenever they ask you to try something that might be a little different that they want you to work on, you can say, all right, I'm, I'll try it. If y'all are trying new stuff, we can all try it, and we'll see if we can get better together. Um, and I think that's 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 important because he could be, I mean, he's one of the best coaches of all time. He could just go out there and this is how we do it. This is this is how I'm going to coach it, and it, this is how it works. But he's pushing himself to be better, and then he asks a lot of us, but he also asks a lot of himself, and I think that's uh, super important. Patrick, Travis jokes about his age, but obviously he is older for that mm-hmm. position. What allows him to be effective, and like, what kind of training camp did, did you think he had? Yeah, I mean, it's it's – it's remarkable, honestly. I mean, you see him out there every day at practice. He's working. He's in there getting the reps. He actually gets mad when they take him out. Um, and, and he has I mean, he has all the right in the world to go out there and just kind of be on the sideline and coach because he knows all the stuff. And he, he, he doesn't necessarily need the reps, but he, he, loves, he loves it, man. He loves working. Um, and it makes my job easy as a leader to push other guys because I can just say, look at the Hall of Famer who's out here practicing harder than anybody. Um, and so – it's um it, that that's what makes him so special, man. Is that he 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 enjoys the process of being great, not just the 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 top, not winning the Super Bowl. He enjoys the process of practicing. He enjoys the process of working on little details, um, and that's what the great ones do. And I mean, you heard stories about like that with like Jerry Rice and guys like that. Um, and so I think that's what when you're great like that, you you enjoy the process of what ma- what takes to be great. Um, and it helps me lead other guys because you can always point to that guy to show that that's how that's how it's done. Thanks, Thank you. 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 Thank you.